Here in this channel, I'll be diving in to discuss the latest beauty trends and or services. Dermal fillers come in a plethora of different varieties and hyaluronic acid isn't the only one. There are a few other types such as calcium hydroxylapatite, PLLA, and PMMA. We'll be taking a look into these to see what their differences is and how you can use each one. But before we get started, please click the notification bell to be updated when we post new videos. We all know that dermal fillers are gel-like substances that are injected beneath the skin to restore volume, smooth lines, or enhance facial contours. And dermal fillers are actually gaining a lot of momentum these days because they are able to achieve the same aesthetic improvements as surgery, as well as have little to no downtime versus surgery, for example. Plus, dermal fillers are also less costly than surgery. And even though dermal fillers are temporary, they are being formulated so that they are able to last up to even two years. In 1981 is when the first injectable was approved by FDA. And since then, many other dermal fillers have came up and they all vary based on their chemical makeup, their duration, and even the softness. For example, you would probably use a soft filler for your lips and then the more dense or harder filler for your jawline or your cheekbones. In general, <laughs> these dermal fillers are categorized based off of the substance that they're made of. So let's take a look at some of the more common ones. Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is one of the more popular dermal fillers out there. Hyaluronic acid is a substance that is naturally produced in the body, found in the skin joints and within the eye sockets, and also increases moisture, retains collagen, and provides elasticity and flexibility. Think of hyaluronic acid as a humectant in a way. It brings water in and it keeps it there. Hyaluronic acid dermal fillers can restore a more youthful appearance by smoothing out wrinkles and also replacing lost volume in the face. Research has shown that multiple injections of hyaluronic acid can actually stimulate the production of collagen, resulting in added firmness and support. The duration of these fillers varies by product, but most of them last for several months to up to a year or two. Calcium hydroxylapatite. Calcium hydroxylapatite is also a naturally occurring substance in our bodies, but more specifically, it comes within our bones. It is a mineral-like compound, which makes it denser than hyaluronic acid and also one of the more heavier dermal fillers out there. According to the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery, calcium hydroxylapatite can stimulate the natural production of collagen and it is typically used for deeper lines and wrinkles. PLLA. PLLA is a synthetic substance, but it is biocompatible and biodegradable. In fact, before it was used for dermal fillers, it was used in the medical field for things such as dissolvable stitches. PLLA fillers are classified as collagen stimulators based on how they work. They help the skin to rebuild natural collagen and in turn, this smooths lines and wrinkles on the face. These fillers are typically used for deeper wrinkles and they can also produce results that last up to two years. PMMA is a synthetic and biocompatible substance that has been used for most of the last century in permanent surgical implants. When used as a dermal filler, PMMA takes the form of a microsphere or a tiny ball that remains beneath the skin to provide continued support. PMMA fillers also contain collagen that provide additional structure and firmness to the skin. PMMA fillers are most commonly used to treat medium to deep wrinkles, folds and furrows, and particularly nasal labia folds. They can also be used for acne scars and also to augment the lips. The only drawback to PMMA fillers is that it requires multiple injections in order for it to be effective, and it does take a while for you to see the effectiveness of the filler. And there you have it. If there are any other topics that you would like to be covered, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to join us on our Facebook group and on Instagram where we post content weekly. See you next time.